<laughs> yes. Okay. There's Stephen. All right. We'll call the meeting to order at seven thirty. Uh, roll call. William Johnson. Here. Uh, Phil Diorio is excused. I believe. Lynn Colligan here. Tom Grafnino here. Lisa Crackler is here. Uh, Stephen Kiley is here via Zoom. Uh, we're going to review and approve the March 22nd, 2023 minutes. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So today we have one application to look over to Primrose Place. Uh, we did not receive any written correspondence on this one. Um, so we can kind of dive into this. So this applicant is looking to convert their current garage into a living room and then <laughs> add on a two, a two bedroom, a two, <laughs> two car garage. So they're kind of moving it out and they want to do that. So it requires a variance in the front yard setback because it is a corner lot. Right. It has two front yards, right? It has two front yeah. yards. Yeah. Um, you know, looking at this in our discussion, we did go over a couple of different options of possibly maybe putting the garage in the back and having the driver go around um, and or building on a second story. So to not need the variance, but the, the both of those were um, costly burden to the homeowner. Um, the reason why they want to do this is because they're basically just they're reusing the doors and they're using one, you know, a wall that's already existing. So they just have to add the three walls for the new garage. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it is the most cost effective because the garage is already insulated. It has electricity running through it. Mm -hmm. um, what are everyone's thoughts on, on the proposed location? Um, I have that the new garage addition was 574 square feet um, and they we did ask them if they wanted to go to move to a one car mm -hmm. garage and they said based on their family's driving habits that they wanted to maintain the two car garage. Um, mm -hmm. Right. And we also talked about uh, mm -hmm. maybe if they didn't need it for a car, putting a shed in the back. But mm -hmm. again, they didn't they they were really looking for the, the car mm -hmm. aspect of it, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. when you look in the neighborhood, um, most of the houses do have two car garages in that area. Yes. So the variance amount will be how many feet overall? Do we say 11? So that's gonna hold a 29 foot setback instead of the 40 foot okay. for a front yard. So it's gonna require an 11 foot variance. Um, and the area is 224 square feet. Okay. 224? Mm-hmm. And looking also at like the size of what they're doing, the existing length of the garage is 22 feet and they are actually staying within that on the new one. It's not like they're expanding a passage it's 22 feet and then and, and two and three eighths. It's very similar size. It went from like 570 square feet to 574. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Does anyone have any other concerns, questions on this one? I don't at this time. Um, you good? I don't know. It was explained pretty clear. You know, yeah. It's, it's, uh, you know, and, and they do, and, and I think too, because it's a two front yard setbacks, but that it's Cobbett's Lane. It's not like another residential right. front yard, and yeah. they have a, a decent buffer. Big buffer. I drive past yeah. it all the time, and it's you, you, yeah. The only one of the concerns, though, is that they will have to move the driveway out a little closer to the road, so it will cut back. I think they said they will have to cut into the, the buffer a little bit. Right, right. right. the entry of the driveway. That stay the same mm -hmm. off the street. Right. Yeah. So right. It's going to be going that yeah. way. So yeah. I think they sent pictures. It's just for the back out up for the new garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They got to go that type, for that type of house. It's it, it just like, looks like it's expanded. You know, there's, yes. that, there's a lot of those homes on the island. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're keeping the same um, roof line and also right. 
So if no one has any any objections or, or anything else to add um, to the checklist, we can probably move to the checklist if yes. it's okay. I have no problem. Good? Yep. Okay. okay. Okay, Lynn's on notes. Okay, number one, whether an undesirable change will be produced in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties. I say no. no. Residential and... Right. There was no negative. There's no neighbor to them. Just a street. Right, and no, there were no um, objections. objections, thank you, from any neighbors. Right. And the front yard, again, is on a main Cobbett's Lane, so it's not really encroaching on anyone's no residential property. Yeah. Right. Whether the benefit sought by the applicant can be achieved by a feasible alternative to the variance. I think we, uh, they did outline several other options, but I think they were pretty costly burden to the homeowner. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could just not have a garage um, right or make it smaller make it a one story um, but looking at how the, the layout of this this is a pretty good proposal so how do we want to answer this um, we could say it depends what the, yeah, the feasible okay. part is right yeah um, fiscally or financially feasible right. or we could say no if we think because we did look at on those other options and because they were trying to mm -hmm. stick to mm -hmm. the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can explore other options. And they're not raising the roof line or anything. Yeah. They're keeping it all the same, so. I don't want to go too fast. For so eye clearance from the road. I think it's more, more feasible. Keep it all the same. Same, right, yep, okay. Without going to a stew story. Yep. Uh, whether the requested variance is substantial. Eleven feet. Yeah, and 224 square feet. I'd say it's substantial. It's a, it's a, it's a half of, a, yeah. it's a, a decent part of the garage. Would the variance have an adverse impact on the physical and environmental conditions in the neighborhood? I would say no. 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 Because um, there's a lot of other two car garages in the neighborhood. And most of that buffer will. <laughs> and the buffer. And it's not. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it's not uh, encroaching into our neighbor. Mm -hmm. Whether the alleged. The alleged difficulty was self-created. Yes. I'd have to say yes, yeah. yeah. And this house is also built in 2004. It's not like it's been there since the 80s or something. It's a semi-new build, and, you know, they knew what they had to work in when they built the house. So. Okay. Um, that is. Any conditions, or anything? Any conditions? Anyone have any conditions? I could like all the dark skies and stuff. That that's would just all, be standard. Yep. Right. yep, that's standard now. That maybe we should say they should try to leave much woods towards Corbett's Lane as possible. Yeah, much Don't wood. clear at all. Yeah, much maybe we can say maybe as possible. Um, what do you think? Is that something, Stephen, we can put in there to um, attempt to retain as much as the, of the vegetative buffer as possible? Is that, could that be a condition or is that not really a condition? Absolutely, it can be. I'm oh, sorry? It can be. Oh, uh, it can yeah. be, okay. Absolutely, it can be a condition. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, right. let's maintain. Yeah I, yeah, I would say put it in as much as possible. Not to open it to Corbett's lane. What, what I would prefer is if they can come back with some sort of plan that shows the exact area of the wooded area that would be removed so we have something that's enforceable to say. Okay, okay. This is what you proposed and you're not holding up to it. Correct, to show the, the minimum removal of trees uh, and, and just again, so we have something empirical. 
Okay, I'll request a plan. Okay. We, we can make it, yeah, subject to receipt of a plan. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, I'm good, thank you. Does anyone have any other business? Do we need to like, well, we already voted to close the application. So now we just need to close the meeting. Is that correct, Stephen? Yes, um, but I need you uh, to go into executive session to discuss uh, pending litigation. Okay, so. So can we close the meet for first, Stephen? Yes. Uh, yeah, so you're going to have to make a motion to adjourn. Right. Go okay. I'll make the motion. To adjourn, okay. adjourn the, meeting. the meeting. Second. Second. Lynn seconds. Um, all in favor? Aye. Okay, uh, we'll close the meeting at 7.41 uh, and to go into executive session. We're not going to end it. We're just adjourning. Uh, We're adjourning. Adjourning. Just adjourning. adjourning. Who's second it? Lynn. I did. All right. Thank you.